Samsung is back in the game. The South Korean did one of the most beautiful pieces of hardware that fit in your pocket. We were expecting a curved display and a thin phone and the images didn't blow my mind, but when I grabbed the smartphone, I got a happy surprise. Get ready to know a little bit better the new Samsung flagship. My name is Filipov from Sex with Daniel Busby behind the camera and this is our hands-on on a Galaxy S6 Edge at MWC Barcelona. They did it again. After blow my mind with the first Galaxy S and the Galaxy S3, this Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge is just the best phone that I ever grabbed in my entire life. The design is different obviously, but even with a smartphone that's supposed to be quite odd on your hand, they made it awesome, with a finish that I'd never seen before. The edges will be useful for many things and the open SDK will leave it for developers, they'll be free to add, create and or reinvent the functions that occur display in their own apps. Probably not on the beginning, but we'll see that piece of screen being used over time. The display is not just different, it's great, with 5.1 inches 2K Super AMOLED screen with 577 ppi's or pixels per inch, this will be the best option you'll ever find on the market so far. This smartphone is all almost made in glass, the front and the back are protected by a Gorilla Glass 4. But as I always say, glass is a glass, be aware of that. Just below the screen we'll find the home button that is also a fingerprint scanner. This is a bit different of the Galaxy S5, now you don't need to swipe to detect the finger and if you only like an iPhone fingerprint scanner, it will work perfectly. Turning the smartphone over, you will see a back made of glass that will be pain for fingerprint. If you like to see your phone always clean, the best option you will have is to buy a white model, otherwise you will always be cleaning the back panel. The camera looks like the beginning of a pyramid, it's not just the best look ever, but the phone is thin, actually extremely thin, with 7mm thick, was impossible to make the camera be a part of the design. So they did the best they could. It's not bad, but they don't get my thumbs up either. Talking about the camera is exactly the same that what we have on a Galaxy S6, a 16 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization and a LED flash. This camera will be able to record in 4K as well. The front facing camera is a 5 megapixel camera recording at 1080p's and apparently will be awesome on low light condition, but we'll keep that in mind to test in our full review. The sensors are on the right side of the camera and I do believe that it would be the best option they had. The phone is not just impressive on outside, but inside as well. The processor Exynos 7420 64 bits was an excellent choice. And a quick peek in Antutu, it scored 71,000 points, so keep that in mind to buy it. 3GB of RAM will be enough to see this beast moving fast as never before. And they cut on touch with, they cut a lot on crap apps, so expect a Samsung really, really fast. Samsung took the option away to insert a micro SD card and a removable battery. But we need to make choices, what is important, what you don't mind to sacrifice when you have a design and a finish like this. The battery of 2250 mAh make me hold my breath, but with the fast charging, with 10 minutes charge you'll be able to use a smartphone for 4 straight hours, so it's not bad at all. We are at 2015 and so far I didn't find a perfect smartphone. If you want something amazing, you'll need sacrificing other things. But this smartphone, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, is in my opinion the closest to perfection that we had so far. For more information about how to sell or buy stuff, just type webuy.com and we'll be there to give you the best service ever. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, give a like if you like what you see, and if you're on a mood, just share with your friends. My name is Philip Paul from Sex with Daniel Busby behind the camera and this is our hands-on on the Galaxy S6 Edge at MWC Barcelona. See you on the next one.